low definition. This is my video review of a YouTube video called How to Be Alone. If you are at first lonely, be patient. It's also my review of a Globe and Mail review called YouTube video about being alone is anti-feminist retrograde. Let's get started with the video How to Be Alone. How to Be Alone is a poem slash song video by Andrea Dorfman and Tanya Davis. It's not a video about popping a giant zit like this one. And as well, it's not a video about boobs like this one. This is Jenny. I have the biggest boobs in the world. That video is pretty good. It's funny, but this video about Jesus. words from the Latin word vacara, which means to be empty, where bacon comes from. It's actually about boobs. Your plate of things to do, your plate of duties is also empty. And for that matter, your mind is empty and you can relax. Russell Smith, in his review of How to Be Alone, mentions how popular How to Be Alone has become. Let's look at some other popular videos. The Beyonce video has 90 million views. Then of course there's all these videos that essentially just copy Beyonce's video and slow it down and call it an instructional video. There are some actual instructional videos on how to do the dance moves, but just slowing it down? Something else about Beyonce's video that I'm absolutely certain of is that they had money. And now you got Andrea Dorfman uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, and she has a video and it's getting a lot of press and it's getting a review about anti-feminist retrograde. Okay, so let's review what the video How to Be Alone is not about. It's not about zits, okay? Sure, this video sure. about... No, don't watch it. Shit, you're gonna watch that video, aren't you? It's not about zits, all right? And it's not about boobs. Biggest boobs. And it's not about uh, words that are actually about boobs. But how would vacation come from that? Don't watch the zit one. And let's see, it's not about uh, expensive production values getting over 90 million views. And it's not about copying the success of that 90 million views with something that's really not a video at all. Here's what it is. It's about two artists giving a gift to the world through the magic of YouTube and that should always be applauded and if they're getting close to a million views I applaud them even more. Is it about feminism? I don't know. Uh, is that important? Not to me because to me it's about something personal and I enjoyed it and apparently other people are enjoying it and it may be about feminism to them as well, uh, or anti-feminist retrograde, which I don't really understand, but it may be something personal to them, and that's what counts. And the counter is going up. It's almost at a million views. And not because they spent a lot of money, and not because they put uh, boobs or zits into their video. So, great job.